Once you learn the perfect time and temperature for sous vide asparagus, you can make the best sous vide asparagus of your life. It is so beautifully green throughout and it's one of my favorite side dishes to make sous vide. Are you curious about sous vide vegetables? Well, today I'm gonna teach you how to sous vide asparagus. Now, there are two types of asparagus, so I'm gonna teach you the difference between the thick asparagus and the thin asparagus. And once you sous vide asparagus, you can enjoy it for breakfast, maybe serve it with some sous vide poached eggs and a little sous vide hollandaise sauce. And you can of course serve asparagus for lunch, for dinner. You can finish sous vide asparagus on the grill. You could finish it in the oven. You don't have to finish it at all because it actually tastes delicious right out of the bag. So anyways, I'm gonna cover all of that and more. And this is a recipe that is featured in the Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook, my sous vide cookbook that just came out this year. But I'm gonna share with you a version today that you can enjoy at home. So let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube for more delicious restaurant style meals you can make at home. So let's get started making this sous vide asparagus. So the first thing you do is prepare the sous vide bath and prepare your asparagus. So here I'm not using frozen asparagus for sous vide. It's fresh asparagus purchased in a bag from the store and the first thing that you have to do is cut off the ends of the asparagus. Those are usually dead ends, they're usually starting to dry up. You don't want those because you want delicious and easy to pierce with a fork sous vide asparagus. Look at these beauties. Now they're definitely thicker asparagus used for this sous vide cook. I also love to sous vide thin asparagus and you can find information on how to sous vide thin asparagus at sipbyco.com. The cooking time and temp, well, the cooking temperature for sous vide asparagus, if it's thin or thick, is exactly the same. But the sous vide asparagus that's thinner is gonna cook faster. So you have to check out sipbyco.com or the Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook. The information's on there, and I will have a recipe out soon for thinner asparagus cooked sous vide style. So anyways, here I'm just arranging the sous vide asparagus in a bag. I want to make sure that all of that fresh asparagus for sous vide cooking is laying on a very flat layer. You don't want the asparagus to be overlapping. And that's why I prefer to use vacuum seal as a bag for sous vide cooking for this sous vide vegetable recipe. And actually a lot of my sous vide vegetable recipes and a lot of recipes where there's more than one item in the bag, I do definitely recommend vacuum sealing instead of using a Ziploc bag because you don't want them to move around during the sous vide cook. So here the asparagus is beautiful, it's ready to go. It had already been seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, but for other recipes I'd recommend putting some butter in the bag. It's really up to you. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you what it looks like to add other flavors and ingredients in with the sous vide asparagus. So you vacuum seal the sous vide asparagus with garlic, like I'm showing here. It's about um, a couple teaspoons of garlic and some salt. And also throwing in a pat of butter makes this delicious butter poach sous vide asparagus, which is really great. If you're just using it as a side or if you're putting it in pasta like I'm going to show you at the end. So as you see, you just put it all in the bag together with that butter. It's going to be poaching in butter while cooking sous vide style, which means that it's going to get nice and tender and pick up all that flavor. And I did put a bunch of salt in the bag. And later you'll see that uh, you can finish this with some pepper, you can finish it with parmesan, anything like that. But for this cook, it looks really cool in the vacuum seal bag. You can check out some of my vacuum seal tutorials using the Food Saver 4400. There's a few of them at the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube. So this is similar to a recipe in the Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook that came out earlier this year. It's my sous vide cookbook that has a whole entire chapter on how to sous vide vegetables like asparagus. So in the book, it's finished with some almonds, and that's a really delicious sous vide recipe for Thanksgiving, sous vide recipe for Christmas, um, any sort of sous vide holiday recipe, really, or just for a fancier weeknight meal. So here the sous vide asparagus is taking a bath, and like I said, this is the thick sous vide asparagus, which is going to take about nine minutes. If it was thinner sous vide asparagus, I'd only cook it for about six minutes at 180 degrees. That is a really high temperature and you need a sous vide vegetables at higher temperatures so the materials in it break down and 
It's much different if you're sous videing meats, which you can check out some of those recipes at Sip Bite Go To. But back to the asparagus here. So it's a really short cook time for sous vide asparagus. Uh, six to nine minutes and when it comes out you can shock it in an ice bath which is recommended to stop the cooking but otherwise it's not like it's gonna get any hotter it's just gonna cook longer so if you're gonna serve it right away you need to take it out of the bag and the beauty here is you don't really have to finish it you could throw it in a pan if you wanted to but it's just butter poached sous vide asparagus essentially so you can take it right out of the bag and serve it on a beautiful plate and all the garlic and everything is already infused in the sous vide asparagus. It's so delicious to eat these. Another way that I like to finish sous vide asparagus is on the grill. Grilled asparagus is sometimes chewy if it's not cooked sous vide style first. So if you sous vide the asparagus first, you can just toss it on the grill for a minute really just rotate it a little bit to get those beautiful grill marks and then you have a really cool sous vide side dish for a barbecue so here i'm just arranging them on a plate gonna put them out for a casual dinner and i have a couple other ways that you can enjoy sous vide asparagus that i'm looking forward to showing you in just a second now since sous vide asparagus is way better than just regular old asparagus, it's fancier, it takes a little bit more dedication to the craft of cooking asparagus, if you will, I think it's great to finish it with a beautiful presentation like this. So I put the bright green asparagus on a oblong plate. So it's a plate that's stretched out that really complements the shape of the asparagus. And on it is going Jacobson black garlic salt. Now this is finishing salt and you definitely don't need much of it. You can use, literally use like 10 little flakes of salt that has so much flavor, but it adds a little bit more garlic, really, really dense garlic flavor to it. And this is just an example of a cook I did where I finished it with some fresh Parmesan Asagio cheese and a little bit of cracked black pepper. Okay, I said a little bit, but obviously there's a lot of cracked black pepper on here. So delicious. So this is buttery. It's got a little kick from all that black pepper. It has even more garlic. It's not just that raw. I mean, it's cooked sous vide style garlic, but that um, raw flavored garlic. It also has that Jacobson black garlic salt on it, which brings so much flavor. So it's salty, it's buttery, it's peppery, and actually a little bit more salt from the Parmesan. So this is a really beautiful dish to pull together. I, I just wanna show you the inside of this gorgeous asparagus. Once you learn how to sous vide asparagus, you're gonna really enjoy showing it to people because asparagus doesn't usually come out this gorgeous. I mean, this is just beautiful inside. That color is just beautiful, bright, bright green on the outside. And then as you get towards the center, it's the lighter green and it just cuts so easily. There's nothing chewy or tough about this asparagus. So here's another way that I like to use sous vide asparagus in a larger plate. And I think a lot of sous vide cooking, people are just focused on cooking one, one main thing and they kind of forget about the other recipe that surround it. That's one of the reasons that I wrote the Home Chef sous vide cookbook and I put an emphasis on making actual meals because I wanna know as a busy parent how I'm gonna work sous vide cooking into everyday life. I mean, we wanna eat like we're at a restaurant every night, but we don't want to spend five hours making dinner. We just can't. So this is an example of something I put together. I have this delicious recipe for crispy chicken Italian style on sipbyco.com. And these are chicken tenders and you can sous vide chicken tenders, but these are just regular chicken tenders for this example. And I just cooked them up in the pan while the sous vide asparagus was cooking and they turn out delicious and beautiful every time. Um, I have a little secret in the ingredients that I put that makes the skin so crispy from the Parmesan and a little bit of other things that are in there. So anyways, um, I also have some spaghetti going in the back. It's Italian night at my place, obviously a Sunday night dinner theme here. And so I like to make sure that I'm getting the edges of that chicken because I want to make sure that it's nice and crispy all around. So now I'm going to take you over to how I finish the plate. 
So make sure that you're connected with Sip Bite Go either on Instagram or with the newsletter because I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step recipe for this coming soon. But for now, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek that I threw together some store-bought Alfredo and some caramelized onions that I had and cooked that up. So then it was time to throw some Parmesan on the pasta and get the pasta on the plate. So are you ready for this grand finale of how to sous vide asparagus and use it in a dish like this? Well, it's gonna come at you very quickly. So here the pasta gets tossed on the plate, give it little swirls to make it look good on the plate. And then it's time to add all that crispy chicken Parmesan to the chop. Now this is actually a really big plate that I'm gonna split with my husband. And of course we give some nibbles to the baby. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful it looks to serve this family style and then pack on all of that sous vide asparagus with Parmesan and black pepper and that Jacobson sea salt or no, yeah, black garlic sea salt on top. All this dish needs is a little bit of Alfredo sauce on top and then it is ready to serve. Doesn't that look so delicious? Ugh. I love it, and using store-bought Alfredo sauce was definitely a shortcut. Well, I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this tutorial on how to sous vide asparagus and make it into a meal. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sip by Go channel on YouTube for more delicious restaurant-style meals you can make at home. Well, I hope that you're thoroughly inspired to make sous vide asparagus. Sous vide vegetables are really a missed opportunity when it comes to sous vide cooking. A lot of people go right for the steaks, right for the chicken, right for the pork, the brisket, and I totally get it. Those are all delicious things, but sous vide asparagus is one of the fastest sous vide recipes that you can make, and it's quite delicious. I love never having chewy asparagus or overcooked asparagus. It always comes out perfect in the sous vide cook, cooker, cook machine, with the sous vide machine. Depends what you're using, but anyways. Well, until next time, don't forget to subscribe to the Sip by Go channel on YouTube for my latest sous vide cooks, and I hope that you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers! <laughs> Here are a couple other videos I think you'll love.